These data are acquired from polymethylmethacrylate. If we look at the expression over here for polymethylmethacrylate, the number of carbon and the number of oxygen can be established by counting the number of atoms and, and their relationship within polymethylmethacrylate in order to work out what the ratio of this carbon 1s peak should be compared to this oxygen 1s peak. So counting the carbon, you can see we have five carbon atoms and there are two oxygen. Therefore, we should expect a ratio of five to two. So in terms of quantification from XPS, when we measure the peak area for the oxygen and then the peak area for the carbon, if we scale them appropriately using relative sensitivity factors, escape depth correction and transmission correction, we should get the ratio of five to two. We'll begin by using the relative sensitivity factors and the element library that is delivered with the instrument that measured these data. And since this is from a Kratos Axis Ultra, we have an element library here which is set up for a Kratos system with the Kratos RSFs. And what I'll do is I will create some regions using the quantification parameters dialog window. And I'll first of all say find peaks and just evaluate what peaks we've got here. Yes, that looks about right. So let's create some regions. And now let's just step through these regions to make sure that everything as, is as it should be. Now here we've got a, a doublet and the sensitivity factor in the element library, which will come in for this particular cesium 3D doublet, is for both peaks. I'm o I've only got one peak identified, so I need to adjust the relative sensitivity factor to be the five halves peak. So if I enter ampersand and press return, it'll calculate the ratio between these two peaks. It'll work out the relative sensitivity factor from the library sensitivity factor. And then I'll step to the next one, and that's the chlorine 2P. Now that's both parts of the doublet, so we need the full RSF here. And this is the carbon 1S and the oxygen 1s and now we look like we've got the quantification information that we need to assess this and the, based on the quantification with the element library as delivered and other factors that are used to scale such as the transmission that has been entered so control page up shows you what the transmission looks like on this these data and control page down takes you back again. So we've got a ratio here of one to three and we're expecting five to two. So that makes us Im immediately believe that either our quantification is correct and we do not have polymethylmethacrylate in a pure form or our quantification is not as accurate as it ought to be. We'll now investigate the quantification a little further by changing the strategy. And what we'll do is alter from the original library, the Kratos library, to this, a library based on Schofield. So I'm going to load the Schofield library here and press the load button so that the table is updated. So now I've got a Schofield library which is compiled from a set of relative transition probabilities relative to the carbon 1s. So you can see this is 1 here. And then all of these values here have been calculated using Hartree calculations to work out transition probabilities. So these things have no knowledge about the instrument at all. So if we update now these RSFs, taking them what they're currently set to be the original Kratos ones, if we update by putting a hash in front of each one of these names that are also in the element library, then you'll see that the RSFs are all updated. And in this case, I'm going to have to use the five halves. And that gives me a corresponding set of RSFs that are now based on transition probabilities. The 
value hasn't changed a great deal and the if we adjust, take off the transmission function you can see that again well there's some change but not a lot of a change here and so the Schofield cross sections and the values that were entered by the Kratos library are doing something very similar now the most important change that I can make here is actually introduce some physical characteristics that I know about this material so I've got the transition properties here and they absolutely do not know that we're me they, they were measured from a, an XPS instrument so what I'm going to do is use the intensity calibration property page and I'm going to select both of these because I want both of these spectra updated at once I'm going to add a transmission function and this transmission function is simply based on escape depth so if I open this file you'll see it with notepad you can see it's got the type and then the number of entries and then pairs of kinetic energies and a scale factor and for each one of these kinetic energies there's a different scale factor so when I say open what happens is both of these are updated and you can see this if you look in the VAMAS block comment you can see that the transmission function file is specified that I and so you can see that the the transmission function was updated and now the ratio that you see here simply by correcting these Schofield cross-sections by an escape depth correction I've improved the quality of this compared to what we expect for PMMA if I look at the ratio of these two so if I look at the ratio of oxygen and the other elements in particular we've got the carbon relative to the oxygen and the oxygen is unity that's what we expect for the ratio